Good morning. What I'd like to do this morning is just look at the teachings of Jesus, if it's okay. He was really sophisticated, and most, like most rabbis of his day, he was really smart. He used parable. He used illustrations. In Matthew 6, he used an illustration. In Matthew 11, he used another one. He talked about masters, and he talked about yokes. In Matthew 6, he said, you know, no one can serve two masters. You'll either serve God or money. You'll love the one and hate the other. You'll serve one and despise the other. Because he was talking to not just the majority of the people who understood what it was like to have a boss, understood what it was like to have a master. He was actually talking to the masters simultaneously. This is what Jesus did. He could talk to a group of people, say one thing, and it would challenge those who were astute, but it would also serve those who were migrant workers who were less educated. And so what he did was he was saying, you can make your life about the things of this world or you can make your life about God, but you can't do both. They will work against one another. And then to help illustrate like the working principle, in Matthew 11, he used the illustration of a yoke, which was an apparatus used to, uh, to apply and do the work of plowing fields for these wealthy landowners. And he said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. A yoke was something that was custom fit. It was an apparatus used to do work. But what he was saying is, if you're going to aspire after the things of this world, then you're going to put the world's yoke upon you and it doesn't know you like I do. It's going to keep you chafing against itself. It, it's not fit for you the way that I can fit you. See, you're going to still have insatiable desires that are never going to be filled. You're going to seek things and never be content in this world when you chase and are enslaved to the world and money because you have that yoke upon you. But if you take my yoke upon you and put it on you, see, I made you in my image and I know exactly why I designed you and for what purpose. So when you put my custom fit yoke upon your life, you're not only going to walk through life without chafing and purpose, you're going to be able to do what, what they found in that day was when they would yoke two oxen together or two people together, they could accomplish 10 times what they could by themselves. When you take my yoke upon you, it's, it's easy, it's light, and the burden is lifted because you're walking in the way that I intended and called you to, and you're able to do more than you ever thought possible before. All of a sudden, you're free of the, the worry of if you'll have enough money. But you'll seek to be generous with people. No, no longer are you worried about not having enough or keeping up with others. You're going to seek to lift others' needs above yourself to elevate my kingdom because you're about the advance of my kingdom and my gospel. So this week, we talked about how love delivers. The true love of God delivers us. Jesus, in this image, tells us that we are to be about His love because that's the only thing that frees people and lifts the yoke of bondage to money and the world and the slavery to that stuff off of people so that, so that they can truly understand what true life and abundance and purpose in Him is about. Today, I hope that you will seek to meet people where they are and seek to love them the way that Jesus did by thinking about them more than you do yourself. And take his yoke upon yourself. And as an example, show them how light that really is. Like it doesn't mean that life isn't hard. It just means that you have something grounding you. You have a purpose. You live for something beyond this world. And that should offer them hope. They may want that same yoke and create opportunity for, for you to share it. It may create opportunity for you to invite them to church this week with you whether that be online or in one of our campuses. At 10 o'clock, we're going to meet at Mount Juliet to worship the one who has called us to himself and given us life abundant. We're going to worship Jesus. You may be able to invite one of your friends to that service live or online. At 1045, we're going to be at Two Rivers, and we're going to do the same thing. That may be an opportunity to invite your friend to come to that service. Here's the thing. We have life in him, and we are free of the bondage of this world. So today, will you leverage that love and seek to leverage someone else? Allow the love that delivered you to deliver them. I'll see you Sunday. Have a great day.